So when we talk about the color palette, this is really something that separates the pros from the amateurs. And even for myself, I still find it to be one of the most difficult things to really achieve in my photography. So what a color palette is, is it's deciding what colors are in your frame and ultimately what that does to your image and why you choose to do it. Typically, warmer colors, reds, orange, yellows, are a little more energetic. They add a little bit more life to your photo. And it's a reason that a lot of people love the sunset golden hour is that it adds this warm sort of glow. It's really happy, it's romantic, it's beautiful. On the flip side, you have the cooler colors. You have the, the grays, the blues, the greens. And these really add a sense of sort of coldness, sometimes loneliness, maybe um, a little bit more emotional to them. But they can have a lot of energy as well, but they're a little bit colder. And deciding, you know, well, what type of photo do I want? and where am I taking the photo? What time am I taking the photo? So how do you work with a color palette and how do you start to form ideas of what colors you want to use? A great way is to look at past photography and to look at films even and see what colors they use and then go out and practice. You know, one of my favorite things is going out into the forest. You have a lot of greens, you have a lot of browns, you have a lot of blues and it's a very natural feeling. But then you put a subject in there that is wearing red, let's say and it just pops out so much. It's so vibrant compared to everything else and it adds another dimension to it. Another great way to play with a color palette is learning your complementary and secondary colors and these are colors that really meld well together but have contrast. So blue to yellow, red to green. These colors sort of offset and add an extra sort of dimension to your photography. At the end of the day the colors are another subject in your photo and really what colors you choose to have in your frame, both in the background and on your main subject, make a huge difference as to the emotion and the mood of your photo. So be sure to pay attention next time and sort of make a conscious decision of, oh, well, I'm going to go shoot in the forest. Do you want the character or the subject to sort of meld in and match the background? Or do you want them to really stand out and be a more vibrant subject? Um, it's something that you can play with and, you know, as you get into fine-tuning it and refining it, you'll find locations that you love to shoot at, that you know the color palette, and you know that your subject that you're bringing into that environment is going to work well. So go do some research. Go see what the different colors are. Go find out which ones oppose each other, which ones complement each other, and really look at how other photographers use these colors in their photography.